Alrighty, talking through the high-res grid photo here and just some benefits of the H20 on the inspection side as well. You can see approaching a cell tower here on the inspection side. Full disclosure, not an expert on the cell tower side, more experience on the transmission and distribution side of things, but I think you know what we're talking about generally here applies across a lot of inspection scopes and different use cases. So as we talked about earlier, you can see the green border around the tower right now is just showing what the zoom camera is looking at at two times compared to our current wide view. And as we're approaching this tower, now you can think about kind of a typical workflow without an M300 here. I could have a zoom camera, I could have your typical camera as well without zoom, but giving you a higher resolution in the past. So maybe we're talking DJI wise, that was an X5S or an X7 and an M200. Uh, maybe even a Phantom 4 Pro, just because you're getting a solid 20 megapixel photo. Obviously going to need to fly a lot closer in those type of scenarios. And what you'll see here, though, as we move in, obviously we have a lot of zoom capability here with the H20T. In this regard, we're able to go up to 23 times hybrid optical zoom here and keep uh, that 20 megapixel photo. Uh, so just kind of simulating some inspection photos here, you know, zooming in, uh, laser Rangefinder does help the camera focus, which is a nice benefit as well. Also geotagged your photos where you can see the exact GPS location of the center of the photo. So it takes the asset here, but you can see uh, kind of the red crosshair in the middle there showing the laser rangefinder location. But, you know, typical photos here um, where you might need to go around the photo and take quite a lot. Uh, benefit of high res grid photo here, as you see, if we open up the menu and switch our photo mode, over to high res grid is you can pretty much draw a what do you call it a table here and those each of those cells equals a zoomed in photo so you can change the zoom levels pause it here for a second if you zoom farther in those are going to get smaller because it obviously just takes more photos if you zoom out uh, those are going to get smaller but as we continue here you can see it's go ahead and started it's going to take one photo where each one of those grid cells was when you initially lined it up. You can switch over and kind of watch it in action on the zoom camera here. Goes and had some focus. We'll take a look at the data after as well. Once again, auto focusing for each individual photo. And you'll see that they do come out quite clear, allowing you to look at the photos after the fact. But as it's finishing up here, obviously you can switch to FPV as well. If you'd like the situational awareness there, just don't want to move the drone during the process. You have the update in the top right as well, four seconds left. And then after it's completed, you'll get the notification, 100% done, 20 of 20 photos. You could review it in app if you want, but we'll take a look at it here on the computer instead. So switching over. The desktop here instead. First we'll take a look at uh, the regular inspection photos we kind of simulated at the beginning there. So you have your wide photo, uh, your zoom photo. So it's kind of nice, you know, if we're talking about typical inspection, if you have like hundreds of photos after, especially if we are more zoomed in here, you'd be like, where exactly is this bolt or where exactly on the tower are you looking at? And you could pull up the wide photo uh, given the capability of the H20T to take one, two or three photos up to you at the same time. And you say, okay, it's the middle of the photo, so it's going to be right there. You can kind of line things up. And obviously, you have the road and some other sense of directions, but kind of have to be a little detective there, a little blues clues, trying to figure out where on the tower we're at. Have our thermal photo as well. Once again, an option, you can take that. You can not with H20T. Uh, same deal for this one. We got our wide photo, so we know we're looking here, we're looking at the zoom. And once again, kind of zooming 20 megapixels, solid quality. Once again, not zoomed in on a specific component. We'll cover some of those a little more zoomed in later on, uh, but just showing the value here. So just in a basic sense, without the super resolution photo, the high-res grid, or whatever you want to call it, uh, you're not uh, having to guess where something's at in the tower or do as much work if you do uh, select an app to take multiple photos. But going into the super photo here, it's labeled super uh, called high-res grid as well. Uh, all you have to do is open up the HTML. All the other assets are in here to display this HTML. So if you wanted to share this, you'd want to share the entire folder. Uh, but we'll go ahead and click on HTML. That'll open up the browser here. 
Uh, so you can see you have the ability to just display the large image only. We can go ahead and overlay the grid itself. We can click on an individual photo and then go ahead and pop open the help tab here on the left side. So that's just the H key. I like to use the keyboard shortcuts. So you can see E, we can zoom in. Once again, solid photo quality. Uh, using Q to zoom out. Uh, w if you want to go back to the main screen. What's really nice though here is the A on the preview side. So you can see exactly where we're looking at on the tower uh, in regards to this. Also, you can drag around here. So I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in some more here. Oh, that's out, letters are hard. <laughs> but you can see, okay, I'm zooming in at the uh, top left side here. And then you can see exactly where that photo is located on the tower. So you kind of have the double reference when you're looking at these high resolution photos. So really nice workflow to look at after the fact, instead of kind of looking at those individual photos, guessing, and then having to take photos manually as well. Uh, you also do, I will note, if we'll go back here, pop in on this one, you could say, eh, this isn't a great example. You can use the keyboard up, down, left, right to show the example as well. Um, but maybe you're saying, oh man, like I need to see this whole component here. Uh, if you go ahead and switch over, there's definitely uh, some margin of error built in, some overlap built in, so you don't cut any components in half, as you can see here. Like we're able to clearly see the other half of this as we move to the next photo. Uh, some nice overlap built in there as well. You can see it's 20 photos. And we can go back to the larger image as well. Turn that on, turn that off. Uh, so good information there. Also, when you click on an individual photo, you can see the name up top. So this is photo 14, photo 15, et cetera, if you want to pull that photo uh, later on. So hopefully that gives you a good idea of high resolution photo option with the H20 and M300 RTK. And we'll keep moving.